Hey you guys, this is Dawn. Welcome to Gulf Coast October. Originally I was going to make this a video about a review of these paintbrushes that I got for my birthday. They're hog bristle brushes. I love them for acrylics. They're fantastic. Later there's some other paintbrushes that are not. Those are better for like watercolor stuff. Um, but I ended up deciding to do something different with this video. This is a more Christmas based video. And in this season, there's a lot of gift giving, a lot of gift receiving. For some of us, it stresses us out. For some of us, it's really exciting and it's really fun. Some people just don't like it, but for some of us it was ruined. I used to love Christmas. I'm having to relearn this with my healthy friends. Thank you for those people in my life. Some of us prefer the gift of somebody's actual time and presence. And for some of us, we have a lot of people in our life that won't give that to us at all. All they want to do is throw actual items at us once a year, maybe on our birthday. They'll show up around these times and then demand that we give them our undivided attention so they can give us things so that they can feel better. Did I just unload a lot? I think I might have. And I'm sorry if that's a lot, but it's, geez Louise, it's the truth. One of the hardest things that some of us deal with, even when we don't realize it's what's happening, when... The seasons come around where there's gifts involved, Christmas, birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, even, you know, it can happen at Easter and Halloween. You know, people give Halloween gifts and Valentine's gifts. If we are so used to being with manipulative people around manipulative people, they have this weird way of trying to balance love bombing with stripping us of what we really want and what we really need. They will absolutely deny us of what we really want and demand to refill it with the thing that they know will kind of counteract that. It's, it's for their own selfish needs. It makes them feel better to watch the innocent people squirm. There's a little bit of a jealousy at times. I've seen that where somebody who can't get their own fill, they can't refill themselves with their own God-given gifts and their own God-given talents. Those people that either don't have that or maybe they have it, they refuse to accept their own God-given gifts and talents. Or maybe it's become so destructive that it becomes the opposite of that. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Those people get driven bonkers when they can see other people that tap into their own God-given gifts and talents and try to use that to better themselves, better the world, and even to help the person that is trying to tear that person down. Sometimes they won't accept it. They can't. They refuse to, especially coming from you, right? Especially coming from the person that they want to tear down. Sometimes they will accept it so that they can learn how to manipulate better. That's a very scary thing. So sometimes it's better to just not even waste your time. When you know somebody is absolutely tearing you down, destroying holidays, destroying accomplishments, not, you know, being realistic about that you have an amazing ability to do whatever it is, whatever your gift is. I'm going to rattle off a bunch of these in a minute. They can't handle anything positive coming from these people unless they can use it to manipulate. Otherwise, it just reminds them of their shame, their inability to happen to their own sources. I see a lot of this on social media. I can't believe I'm going to go here, but I'm going to. When people just steal other people's content, just blatantly steal it, People that exclusively do voiceover channels where they're just stealing other people's content. And you're looking at it going, is that them? And then you find out it's not. They stole it from other people. And I don't believe these people don't have their own gifts. I just don't believe that they figured out or had the courage, the strength to tap into their own gifts. So they just got to steal it from other people. Or maybe they have their own gifts, but they've stayed so dark and negative for so long that these gifts have turned into the opposite of what the gift was initially meant to be. When this happens, it comes out as a mission of kill, steal, and destroy. And I admit, I believe in the power of manifestation. I do it through God, myself, that's personal. But whenever I would be negative all the time, I manifested negativity. When I flipped that and switched it, and I had to practice it for a while before it felt right, but I was practicing it, I was trying. That in itself is positive. Good things started happening. I started getting rescued from the toxic wasteland I had been trapped in. There are so many different God-given gifts. There's the biblical ones, the gift of teaching, discernment, prophecy. There's a list of them. And then there's our own talents. There's art, music, acting. 
being able to read and absorb information, poetry, building things, engineering, organizing, fashion, the sciences, cooking, listening, helping, right? When these things are either stripped from us or we were just never taught how to tap into them, maybe they were considered obsessions that you know, our parents didn't let us do, or we get in a relationship with people that tear us down and say, you know, like a great example for me would be my art. I'm looking at this. I painted this. I know this is not great artwork, but I love it. It's my expression. It's how I get things out. And I, people compliment my art and they say, that's beautiful. Other people criticize my art horribly. Uh, some people do a little of both. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. This is still a God-given gift that I express and I put it out there not to get people to go, oh, your art is so good. I do this kind of stuff because I want other people to be brave enough to do it too. I want them to do it too, whatever it is they're into. Because I, I quit painting and you can see right here in my face, I was frustrated. My pasta pens weren't working and you'll hear a lot about that in the bloopers. But I quit painting and doing a lot of things for a long time. And then I tapped back into it when I was at my most desperate. And I said, I don't care about anybody else, anything else. I'm going to create. And I want other people to be brave enough to do it too. When things are distorted, like instincts turn into addiction. Understanding turns into confusion. It turns it into the dark opposite. The gift of honesty turns into deception. Love turns into jealousy. Creation turns into destruction. And sadly, religious institutions are often filled with people that will try to turn people into the opposite of what God meant for them to be, but they do it because they think they're helping. That's a whole other thing I don't want to get into. But what it does is it tears the person down, confuses them. This is not for God. This is for personal brownie points. And sadly, even recovery groups have a lot of these people. They, they base it more on the illusion that they're helping others when really they're just trying to convince people to convince others that they're helping them, you know. We can unravel the destruction side of this by tapping into our own stuff authentically. I'm looking at this painting. It's a mess. It's crazy. It's wild. It's kind of fun, though. And even though I had some struggles, you'll hear them in the bloopers in just a minute here. At the end of it, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I hope you like it. If you do, let me know. Or don't. Or tell me what you want to tap into that you've walked away from. Or what are you tapping into these days? Stay golden. It's like the haunted peppermint. It doesn't want me to paint it. It's like... It's the haunted paper! Oh, I just got blood everywhere. Though. It's a crime scene over here. It's like, yeah, wow! Wow. Well, the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Somebody tried to get into the stocking too early and there was an accident. <laughs> Wow! Come on, bro! Stop being a psycho killer! I don't care anymore! Why doesn't this not working? Lord have mercy. She's looking at the 
this. This is stupid. I thought these were going to be awesome as I'll get up, and sometimes they actually suck. Let's go back to the dollar tree, okay? I'm going to spend 30 to 45 minutes doing crappy lines and peppermint. If I said the cheap one. What is that? Let's end on a nicer note, shall we? The moon was beautiful. And I got some really amazing images with my cell phone. Look at that. I did that with my phone. I just zoomed in. I couldn't believe it. I was like, it's the pictures I always wanted to get. Oh my goodness.